nice parrot. Yes, we use it to detect. Oh, what do you we get a new? <laughs> ah, I'm starving. Ah, I'm starving. Too bad he keeps his beak firmly shut. It's hard to believe he can breathe like that. Too bad he. It's hard to believe he can. Does Polly want a, uh, randomly chosen item from my inventory? Ah! Yeah, suit yourself. Hello again. Hey, hello, sugar pup. No. Oh. <sighs> Uh, bye, sugar pup. One is flapping his beak all the time, and the other one's nodding continuously. <laughs> they should get married. Hey, I don't abuse pets, and in exchange, they're more than happy to help me with my experiments. Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. Look what I brought you. Another dead bird? It's not dead. It's just resting. That's what you said about the pigeon. They call it cryogenic sleep. It was a time travel experiment. In my refrigerator? Well, where else would it be cold enough? There's not much room in your heart, after all. No more dead animals. All right. I'll go and wake him up. You do that somewhere else. Wakey, wakey. See how that works? <laughs> Dozer. Hey, Tony, I have a present for you. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff. And he doesn't even have life. Wow. So he's the exact opposite of you. Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, there's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out. Get out! Ugh. I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! <laughs> Poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. 
Here he is, again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Hold, Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is no good nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> What are you doing? I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, no headache, but... The <laughs> cheap lies. Inspector Gizmo speaking. You have an emergency to report? Rufus has stolen the squares off the children's merry-go-round. Rufus, I should have thought as much. What else do you know? Rufus has caused a nuclear meltdown. Rufus has stolen the antenna of Miss Ingle's tractor. A little slower, please. I can't follow you. Could you repeat that, please? I don't know if this was such a good idea. Oh, well, it'll be all right. At least the line is busy now. <laughs> the operator will be overjoyed. What else do you know? Rufus is no good nick. What I'm planning with it really is worth a headline. But <laughs> I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> I bet their message makes more sense than anything Lotec ever typed. The operator will thank me. Vex, please! Vex, please! Vex, please! Next, please! Next, please! Rufus is no good nick. Next, please! Rufus has stolen the squares off the children's merry-go-round. Rufus has stolen the antenna oil. Next, please! Ready to go. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, Cletus? Junk fly hazard in the northern quadrant. Caused by a flock of stampeding... Cletus! Come on! Your love is the most wonderful gift! Cletus? Cletus! <sighs> Rufus is the most wonderful gift. They call him Rufus. Rufus! <laughs> Searching for my fiancé, calling all inhabitants of Deponia. Hey, wait a second. Name is Cletus. I am searching for my fiancé. Possibly she is... Cletus? Cletus! Is that you? This is Rufus. Can you hear me? Hello, Rufus? Are you on Deponia? I found your fiancé. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Tall? Long hair? Brain implant fell from a passing organ on cruiser. She asked about you. Believe me, she's your fiance. What's your price? I want you to take me with you to Elysium. <laughs> Impossible. Well, that's my price. Either I can come along to Elysium or... Listen, I can't take you to Elysium. There must be something else you need. First, I need some answers. Answers? Depends on what you want to know. Are you really from Elysium? Of course I am, but I don't get why you should care where I come from. What's it like on Elysium? Well, it's not as dirty and uncivilized as down here, and the people are less annoying, too. Brilliant! Sounds like the perfect place for me. What was your fiancé doing on board an Organon cruiser? That's none of your business. But isn't it a bit strange that a woman from Elysium was... Don't worry about things that go far over your head. Let's get down to business.
Are the Organons planning something? Why do you want to know that? Listen, never get involved in matters of the higher spheres. You'll never understand what's happening up there above your head, let alone influence any of that. Don't even bother to try. Has your fiancé always been a bit odd? What? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, okay. Let's assume for a second that your fiancé is suffering from a kind of, um, concussion. A concussion? Yeah, but a purely hypothetical assumption. <laughs> then you shouldn't waste time and get her to me. You'll be very sorry if you've hurt her. I need her brain to be fully functional. You really love her, don't you? A and you two are really engaged? Why are you asking me that? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Oh, just, uh, <laughs> chewing the fat. Does your fiancé have a sister by any chance? What are you talking about? Oh, it's just a, <laughs> just a thought. You should spend less time thinking. Seems like your head isn't up to the task. No further questions. Very good. Maybe we can go back to the matter at hand. Of course. Where were we? You wanted to make demands. What do you want in return for my fiancé? You still haven't told me everything. I guess I have my reasons, but if you insist. No further questions. Very good. Maybe we can go back to the matter at hand. Of course. Where were we? You wanted to make demand. What do you want in re- Nope. I want a passage to Elysium or nothing at all. Well, then you'll get nothing at all. Well, if that's what you want, you can go ahead and cancel your wedding. W w wait a minute. M maybe there's a way. I knew it. Bring gold to me. We'll meet at the Lower Ascension Station at the shore of the rough Red Sea tomorrow night. I'll be waiting on top of the platform. Do you think you can make it there? Tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. If, uh... I thought you wanted to get to Elysium. Or didn't you find gold after all? Well, I, I did. I did. Well, then we have a deal. I'll meet you after sunset. Cletus, over and out. Just, w w wait a second. I... Cletus? Okay, Upper Ascension Station. Down on the... Uh, up on the Lower Ascension Station. Up on top of the platform. Ha! Huh, easy as pie for a guy like me. Elysium, I'm coming! But where is Goal? What the? Hey, what are you doing? Gizmo! Look at you. Finally, I brought you to justice. What is that supposed to mean? It's me, Rufus. I know. And believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. You don't have any proof of any of that, you stupid idiot. Theft. I'm innocent. <laughs> yeah, okay, let me rephrase that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything I did, I did for gold. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? That treacherous toad? That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me! It was me! Who found the Elysian? Uh, Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel. None other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus. Bailiff Argus. Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the prime authority in my office. And I forgot to brush my teeth. How can I be of help, Bailiff? 
I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that be community matters as well? Don't let him threaten you, Gizmo. The girl is with Mr. Wenzel. Gizmo, no! You'll find his house below the water tank, right next to the town gate. Thank you, Inspector. You just saved your community a lot of suffering. Yeah, really. Well done. Shut up. I don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet. If I weld it shut, I'll never be able to open it again. Wow, the fumes alone make the paint fall off. Oh, I can hardly wait to try this espresso on goal. As long as he's in police mode, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Luckily, there's arson all the time in this jerk-watered town. Oh, crap. I'm in here. Boy, how often did people around me carry that thing screaming like babies? Hey, hello there. <sighs> what is it now? You're nothing but a traitor, henchman of the Dark Exchequer. Keep quiet. I'm not a big supporter of the Organon. I only have the safety of our community in mind. Fire! Nice try, boy. But my fire detectors would tell me if there was a fire. Medical emergency! It can't be that serious if you're still making a fuss like that. And now be quiet, you pony malingerer. I'm hungry! Food will be served after sundown. Nat's piss and cactus bread. You'll have to wait till then. Let me out! Let you out? Huh. Why in the world would I do that? I have to save gold from the Organon. Didn't you do enough damage for one day? You heard the man, didn't you? I promise to better myself. The irredeemable Rufus. Don't make me laugh. You're right. I'm pretty much perfect already. I'm innocent. Well, not in my eyes. All clues we found point to you, Rufus. The conditions in this cell are unacceptable. Are they really? So, you think you deserve better? I do. I neither belong in this cell nor on this junkyard of a planet. Right. You think you belong to Elysium. I know I do. Why do you think they'd let someone like you into Elysium? A thief? A good-for-nothing drifter? A troublemaker? When I get a chance, I seize it. I determine my own fate. <laughs> the only thing I see you seizing is other people's property, which then gets destroyed or incinerated in the process. Well, you can't paint a house without spilling some paint. And if it's highly flammable paint, then in the end, everything goes up in flames. I mean, that's life. Time is running out. Already? Well, then, brace yourself. I can tell you it's the third week in here that drives people insane. What? How long do I have to stay in here? Well, at least until the court case. But considering the list of your crimes... That's impossible. I have to save Goal. Well, you should have thought about that before you disrespected the law. Well, that wasn't disrespect. It was more like a, a spoonful of neglect. My doctor says my attention deficit syndrome might strike any time. Uh, where was I? I need to pee. Please try to keep it in. I cleaned the floor just the other day. I give up. Good. For now. Nothing. So why don't you just be quiet? As long as he's in police mode, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Luckily, there's arson all the time in this jerk-watered town. Oh, crap. I'm in here.
Uh, nothing else to pillage. It's the last tree. I mean, where would I test my herbicide? Boy, how often did people around me carry that thing? Boy, how often did... That's it. I'll just set fire to the tree. Gizmo will go into firefighting mode, and I can escape using the pole. Ah, if only I could reach the tree from here. Hey, I don't abuse pets. It doesn't have to be... Hey, stop it! Shoo! <laughs> the divining rod doesn't register anything. Well, it obviously only detects clear water. Not necessary. Goal has their coffee black. Not necessary. Never! My inventory could burn!